step for more young people to participate in the digital space by first access and then secondly they can be trained and they can socialize with the entire ecosystem of digital jobs and digital commerce and digital space for them to be able to participate meaningfully in this space. We fully recognize the urgency of the moment and that is why this event holds extraordinary significance as a strategic response. I remember last year with my friend, the immediate former uh, ambassador of the US, we visited uh, the Silicon Valley and we went to Apple, as you've said. And the discussion between us and Apple was how do we manufacture some of their um, assets in Kenya. And I'm very proud that in that trip we managed to persuade the American government for Kenya to be <clears throat> among the countries that could manufacture ICT chips from Kenya. That assignment has now, is now in progress. I am also very proud that we managed to sign on data, green data centers to be set up also in Kenya using our geothermal resources in Kenya. These are spaces that have a present and future potential. In the Silicon Savannah Innovation Park, our promise to the youth materializes as a learning and innovation ecosystem committed to equip them with the skills, tools, and capacity to seize opportunities and thrive in a broad variety of emerging industries ranging from artificial intelligence, green engineering, and advanced manufacturing. The park also serves as a model for transforming our natural and human potential into tangible prosperity channeling the youth's energy into enterprise and turning dreams into lived experiences. This project is not just about creating jobs. It is about reshaping Kenya's economic DNA by anchoring a robust technology and innovation ecosystem within a leading institution of higher learning. We strengthen linkages with industry and forge partnerships with regional and global entities. The University of Nairobi's engineering and science complex, which has benefited from 35 million euro investment by the government of France, exemplifies the future of visionary international partnerships. And I want to thank you, Minister, and through you, my brother, President Emmanuel Macron, a great friend of Kenya and a great friend of Africa for this gesture of support. We don't take it for granted. <laughs> Through collaboration with the STEAM institutions such as University Paris Saclay and Central Super Lake, we have succeeded in establishing a world class platform that affirms Kenya's credentials as Africa's foremost capital. The Silicon Savannah Innovation Park embodies what, we can, what can be achieved within higher education, industry, and government when they unite in a shared mission to drive progress, prosperity, inclusivity, and marks an important step towards the achievement of Kenya's Vision 2030 and the realization of Africa's Agenda 2063. It, is, it also cut, uh, capitalizes on critical complementarities with national frameworks like the National Council for Science, Technology and Innovation, the National Research Foundation, and the Kenya Innovation Agency to ensure that we enhance its global competitiveness while staying committed to sustainability and innovation. With its focus, on critical fields such as green technologies, artificial intelligence, and climate resilience. And the, the park underscores Kenya's explicit commitment to contribute boldly
to global efforts to address the most urgent challenges of our time. The Silicon Savannah Innovation Park transcends promise to become an important global innovation hub, the heartbeat of our digital revolution and the engine of our national industrial transformation. By connecting the University of Nairobi's technology-driven ecosystem with Concert Technopolis, we create a seamless pipeline of talent, ideas, and transformative solutions. This is part of an ambitious vision to configure similar systems of interconnected and complementary operations throughout the country, ensuring that Kenya and Kenyan innovation have a profound impact on both the national stage and on the global development agenda. Without a doubt, this is an occasion that brings the best of the University of Nairobi into sharp focus, reminding the nation and the world of its bold ambitions and high standards. It is a call to action to embark on a strategic turnaround, rediscover the university's true potential, and showcase its caliber on the global stage. I am encouraged by the ambition underpinning the Big Five initiatives, which set out a bold blueprint for transformation. Their faithful implementation will make the university the epicenter of visionary leadership, bold innovation, purposeful curiosity, boundless imagination, and steady excellence. And I have confidence in the management and leadership of Nairobi University to achieve this. And I want to confirm to you that you have my personal and that of the government of Kenya's support in this endeavor. With the leadership provided by my friend Patrick as Chancellor, I am very confident that we can monetize all the assets of Nairobi University, monetize our research, monetize our assets, monet and bring into um, the equation what Minister here has said and what uh, Chancellor has said, that through public-private partnership, we can unlock the tremendous potential that exists in the assets that we have, not just at Nairobi University, but in all our universities across Kenya. And this is the big step that is going to unlock that potential. I agree with you, Chancellor, that we need more um, PhDs, both in the university teaching fraternity, in the university student fraternity. We need more sharpened knowledge to be able to transcend into the future that we all desire. The Kenya government will spend $5 billion every year on the education of our children, both from primary to university. 650 billion Kenyan shillings. It is the highest budget spending on the government of Kenya's budget. Almost 30% of our budget goes to education. And we continue to invest more. But we need innovative. We need much more creative ways of making sure that we enlarge the port of funding that is available for training, for research, for development in all of our universities. And I want to encourage leadership and management of our universities to think outside the box and to look at what possibilities exist for partnership like the one you're doing with our friends from France. What opportunities exist for us to build synergy, build partnerships, work with the private sector, work with the business community, build private-public partnerships that would help unlock the potential that exists in our education sector, especially in our universities. I take this opportunity to appreciate the generous support of our partners, especially the government of France, whose investment has made this historic moment possible. This park is an enduring testament 
to the power of ambition, collaboration powered by a shared vision. Together, we are demonstrating that partnerships founded on mutual respect can achieve extraordinary positive impact. I also have a message to the young people of our nation. The government of Kenya is shaping the present, working for you and delivering opportunities for you to learn, work, create and innovate a path to the future for yourselves and for your nation. The Silicon Savannah Innovation Park is your platform to define the future of Kenya's digital economy. The Silicon Savannah Innovation Park is, is more than an infrastructure project. It is an investment in our people, our future, and our global standing. Our message is clear. Kenya will not merely participate in the fifth industrial revolution. We will lead it. Let us seize this defining moment to turn our vision into a legacy of inclusive transformation that endures for generations. Together, we must work hard and build a nation where opportunity is not a privilege for the few, but a pathright for all, where everyone is assured of both capacity and opportunity to transcend every challenge and contribute meaningfully, and where our only limits are defined by the boundaries of our ambition and determination. I wish you success as you embark on the great project of delivering this most urgent transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, the University of Nairobi's Silicon Savannah Innovation Park is now launched. Thank you very much. God bless you. And God bless Kenya. Thank you. Another round of applause from His Excellency. And Your Excellency, Thank I you. seek your indulgence. Uh, if you will remain on stage, if we can take one photo, may I request that we have the two ministers join His Excellency.